The region of La Rioja in the north of Spain has never been synonymous with modernity. It is famous for its wine production and the rows of vines that stretch across the horizon. When I was a little boy growing up in La Rioja, wineries used to be simple stone structures. The important stuff, the production of wine, was happening on the inside. Now, things have changed. Saha Hadid, Frank Gehry and Santiago Calatrava are among the world's best architects who have graced La Rioja with their imaginative and sometimes outstanding designs. All of the structures play with their surroundings. Some seek to complement it. Others, like the concrete Darien winery, to contrast it. Lope de Redia is one of Rioja's oldest wineries. Their new shop, designed by Saha Hadid, speaks of their will to embrace modernity. A name like Saha Hadid attracts a lot of people. We receive many visitors because they like wine, but we also receive many visitors interested in architecture. We are traditional because we are one of the few bodegas that has lasted 133 years in the hands of the same family. Isius, the beautiful winery designed by Santiago Calatrava, mimics the mountain range that stretches in its background. But beauty isn't enough for all winemakers. Some seek to use modern architecture to perfect the art of winemaking. All the architects want to make amazing wineries, but very few seek to put architecture to the service of winemaking. Our winery is built with a system of terraces that use the force of gravity to help the production of wine, so we can avoid the use of pumps, filters and chemicals. Our wines are totally organic. The architectural beauties have brought many visitors to the region. Rafael Vivanco, one of the heirs of a local wine dynasty, has built one of the most important wine museums in the world, a good indicator of the visitors attracted to La Rioja. We have around 150,000 visitors a year. 85% of them are Spanish and among the foreign tourists, the biggest number of visitors comes from France, Great Britain and the USA. The most prized structure in the region is built by Frank Gehry, as part of the Marques de Riscal winery. Echoes of Bilbao's Guggenheim Museum are present here. What an amazing building. And the best thing is that you can stay here. Room number three, please. Thank you. Thank you. Well, it's put uh, Rio Jalavis on the map. Uh, there are other architectural uh, uh, masterpieces in the area, but this is uh, the biggest masterpiece around. Uh, it's influenced all the towns in the area. All of them have grown um, in terms of uh, tourism. But even this eccentric building is rooted in tradition. It rests on one of the oldest wine cellars around. And now we're going to get to a very special place. It's almost a secret place. It's a place where they keep the oldest uh, bottles in this winery. Some of them are from the 18th or 19th century. Over 150,000 bottles sleep in the perfect conditions of this ancient place. After admiring the visual beauties of the wineries, it's time for me to put my palate to the test in a restaurant called La Vieja Bodega, the old winery, and meeting its owner, Angel, who will let me taste an array of Rioja wines. Curvaceous body, metallic undertones, and contemporary taste. It could be Calatrava, it could be Gary, it could be Hadid, but one thing is for sure, this is an excellent Rioja wine. Cheers! <laughs>